Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to VNTV. You are right here on Once to Watch. I am Akusia Echamfoma. I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas in advance. Today on the show, I have a beautiful movie producer and actress. In fact, she just won the first rising actress for the year in Nigeria. She's the daughter of a former regional minister. I'll introduce my guests after the short break. Do stay with me. Office, officer, oh. you give us office. Come here, you are saying officer. See you. Gas up. We are taking papers on this name. There is one certain guy oh, who gee. walks down one foot on that side. But I'm not and driving car. You are not driving car. Says, Why haven't you been one picking one your calls? I hope <laughs> what is this you're watching? Oh. Check that thing. Give it back! Wait! Give it this back! This is so funny. What program is this? I'm watching two papers on VNTV. VNTV? Oh, come on, nice. Everybody knows about VNTV. VNTV is an online TV. Wow. Yes. You can log on to www.vnationtv.com and you're ready to go. Just like that? Just like that. And the interesting thing is that we have so many amazing programs you can watch. And the coolest thing about VNTV is that, that you get to watch it anywhere. You can watch it on your smart TV, you can watch it on your smartphone, you can watch it on your laptop, iPad, anywhere. It's that cool. Wow. Let me get my stuff uh, so we can uh, go. Uh, not too fast. Why? I thought you wanted us to go to the mall. Yes, that was then. But now, let us stay home and watch VNTV. <laughs> Are you serious? Very, very serious. <laughs> I thought you were mad before. That was before. Or who don't like a wolf? <laughs> you welcome back. You are on once to watch right here on VNTV, powerhouse of entertainment. Help me welcome Ghana's fastest rising actress. Says, now, you're not just Ghana's fastest rising actress, so you are Africa. Yes. Wow. <laughs> you're welcome, Zandi. Thank you. I'm sure you are comfortable in the chair. Of course. Are I you should sure? be, yeah. Okay. Now, when I called you to come on wants to watch, what came into your mind? This crazy girl wants to ask me questions, which I know she has the answers. Even if I have answers, the world doesn't have answers to them. Mm -hmm. So I w I'm coming to review them. I mean, those <laughs> answers to them. I don't need it. Okay. No, you're welcome yeah. again. You're Thank looking you. so beautiful. Thank you. Really beautiful. What's the secret? God. Just God. My fans. Mm. What do they do? Their encouragements and uh, words, motivations. It keeps smiles on my face. And having a nice smile from such great people. You should look beautiful. Wow. You're doing very well for yourself. Thank you. Now, when we mention the name Zandi Kamel, what should come into people's mind? Um, one simple Ghanaian actress who loves people around her. Hmm. Yeah. You do, everybody around you. Yeah. And they're comfortable. Anyone closer to me would testify that Zandi is one fun person that you would always love to be around. I see. Now, what kind of family does Zandi Kamel come from? Uh, Zandi comes from um, a Christian family um, from the Volta region. And um, we are five in number. My dad is late, so we're now four. My mom and two other siblings, plus me. Mm. I don't have a brother. No, oh, I see. Yeah. Wow. And how does it feel like? I'm sure you always wanted to have a brother. In fact, it's not always wanted. Even as at now, anytime I see people with their brothers and stuff, I'm like, hmm, you I wanted wish. a brother. Oh, I see. Now, um, let's look at your family, your mom and your dad. Who are they? Um, my dad, before his demise, was a politician. Mm. But before coming into politics, he was a teacher, then a banker, before he became a politician. And my mom is a trader. She's always been a trader, a businesswoman. No, oh, but who is your father? I mean, when you mention the name Kamel. Okay, my if dad is um, the late Volta Regional Minister who passed on um, 2012, 25th December. Hmm, yeah. Sorry. That's my dad. You know, my dad has always been the handsome guy. 
handsome guy. The ladies' man. You yourself, you always admired my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I'm, I, that's, I have a disclaimer. I beg, I never did. Please don't put me into trouble. <laughs> don't put me into trouble. Yeah, your dad. I mean, your dad is a very fine yeah. gentleman. I mean, a very fine politician. Oh, yeah, sure. May he so rest in perfect peace. Yeah. Now, after you lost your dad, how has the family? I mean, you moved on. How has yeah. life been after? Um, life hasn't been easy, but with God, all things are possible. So uh, let's look up. When did you start acting? 2013. Okay. What were you doing? I mean, before acting. Um, I was with the Ghana Immigration Service. Then um, I was posted to Kumasi, and then I used to watch Ghanaian movies a lot. Mm. So uh, there was a time I went to Kijetia in Kumasi to buy movies. And one producer saw me, I was like, you are pretty. I want to have you on my poster. I told him I can't. Even though growing up, I, I used to do this um, drama in church, school and other things. So I've always had passion for entertainment. But how to go about it was a bit mm. difficult mm. for me. So I told him I couldn't. But the pressure he was giving me, I said, okay, let me give myself the chance. And then I've always admired Emilia Brobe and uh, Mac Brown and Jaco. So the way he mentioned Emilia on that set, I was like, okay, I'm going to see her. I'll take a picture with her. I'm going to work with her and even have the same scene with her. So let me just take that opportunity. And instead of one scene, I ended up having four scenes. Then it grew gradually from there. What movie was that? Um, the movie was Mary Cron Cron. Mary Cron Cron. Yeah, Holy oh. Mary. What did you do in that movie? I was a detective with Emilia Brube. Oh, I see. That was nice. And how did you feel? Actually? For the first time, yeah. being on set with such a great personality, Emilia, I was nervous. I was shy. In fact, I couldn't even utter a word. I was even. I remember I was even having gum, and she was like, "You move the gum. You don't chew gum whilst in front of camera. You don't do this." So, and but the way she was correcting me and grooming me through all that, and from that day till now, she's taking me as a kid sister, and she always gives me advice on how to go in the industry. Now you got the name Beautiful Polly. Yeah. Is it from? I mean, when the producer saw you and said you're beautiful, that's why you brought up that name. And I know no. Polly means a prostitute. Yeah. So is it? Are you beautiful and a prostitute? No, I'm not a prostitute. But then, um, I. I created that name for myself. The point is, my fan page on Facebook used to be Zandis TV, but it wasn't booming as I wanted it to be. And creating that fan level, that fan page thing, you need a brand for yourself. Mm. You need a name that, the way you mention that name, people will go like, who is that person? Let me see the person. So um, there was this name I used in Baba and Shine on TV3. And um, the director gave me a character named Megege. The woman in that series was showing people would go like Megege, Megege, like that name sounds a bit funny and stuff. But I couldn't use that name because the, they, they had a transition. So, and a different person came and then the character name was still given to the person. So I said, okay, let me get a name for myself. So I used to say, anytime I have a, I go live on video, I go like, I'm the only beautiful girl in the whole world. If you don't understand that you're a girl, go and hug a transformer, go and do this. <laughs> so people start commenting beautiful girl uh, you are too high you are classy you are expensive i can't date so I, I went like i am beautiful but poorly i don't have anything on me mm. so it, the poly that i am using doesn't mean i'm a prostitute or a prostitute it means poorly who has nothing mm. like beautiful girl with nothing mm. you understand? that was then right yeah. but now there was something um st we are still hustling mm. mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. I mean, looking at your father being a former original minister, yeah. I'm sure there should be so much money in the house. My father being a regional minister, yes. Uh, you know, having that name attached to you, it feels good. Mm. But th there is nothing. That's the honest truth. Do you think your father would have been proud of you today as an actress? Yeah, when I started, he wouldn't be proud of me because I'm sure he wouldn't... Um, be happy seeing his child swap Ghana Immigration Service to mm, the I movies think, yeah. because my mom was totally against it. But as of now, that things better things are coming and she's still, seen you yes, on TV. I'm sure he would have been proud because oh, even my sisters now they're saying we are getting proud of you gradually and stuff. Yeah, so. when they're watching TV, they go like, yeah. hey, that's my sister. Yeah, when they're working with you and sometimes oh, people are giving you ah, when I go for red carpets, the pictures, you know, that's mm. what. 
and you are social media freak. Social yeah. media freak yeah. as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm a video vlogger on Facebook and IG, YouTube. So, mm. what kind of movies have you featured in? Okay, in Hollywood, I have Father Abraham with Mr. Ibu, um, Odera, and some other people. I have Ivo Nelson too. I have um, Only You. I have The Promise. I have Missing Gold. I have The World Cup. I have a couple of them in Nollywood. But because I started in Ghana, in Kumasi to be precise, I have more. I have, I have about 20 to 30 movies in Kumasi. I have um, Kamame, Osuni Mifie, Wache Miadia Chamasam, Teacher Kwejo, Lewin and Banku go to school. Mm. A lot more. Oh, I see. You're doing very well for yourself. It's and cool. I mean, have you ever, or would you ever, no, let me let me use the word. Have you ever slept with a producer before? No. Would you ever sleep with a producer for a role? No. No. For a role, no. Never. Have you ever fallen in love with a producer before? Not that I not that I remember. Have you ever dated a colleague before? Yes. Who was that? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I can't mention his name here because he's married, and um, it doesn't matter. If no. He's your ex. Yeah, he's my ex. Please, but, when you, you come know, on my show, when you come, listen. On, wait, listen. when wait. <laughs> When you come on once to watch, oh, you God. don't leave anything hidden. Who is this person? <laughs> I, I had I had some rumors. I don't know if it's true, so, but I want okay, you so to. Okay, so who who Bella did Samoa. <laughs> Oh my God! Is it Bella Samoa? Yes. You dated Bella Samoa. Yes. What happened? Why did you guys break up? Oh, we it was a normal mutual understanding breakup thing we had. I don't understand. We broke up because okay, I, I had. I mean, I I, I kept hearing that okay. he, he he's a womanizer. And then I think you got to find out, and then you broke up with him. <laughs> okay, um, he's not a womanizer, and I didn't break up with him because of that. Mm. Both of us realized um, things were not smooth between us, mm. and I, I was I was moving from Kumasi to Accra finally. The distance alone and Zandi, other when things. you were dating Bella Samoa, yeah, we almost had it that he was married, and you knew he was married. Mm -hmm. You knew about it. I didn't know about it. Really? Yeah. Cause I I heard that you were even spending time with the son. Okay. And you knew he was married. Okay. Do you know that you can spend time with um, a baby, mm -hmm. and the baby may, might be introduced mm -hmm. to you as a brother's son? So he was. The baby was introduced to you. I didn't say he son. was, but I said, do you know? No, you're just making a I point. I didn't say that. No, I was okay, saying, fine. Um, I, he, I know he loves kids, mm -hmm. okay? And he used to come to my house with a baby. And I also love kids. So mm -hmm. spending time with... In fact, even if it's his son that mm -hmm. I spend time with, mm -hmm. that's my man. So I can spend time with... I, 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 can, I can date a married man who has When did kids, you date so. Bella Samoa? Which year was that? 2013. And you didn't know he was married? No. Okay. You never, I mean, you never visited his home. No. Okay. No. Is it that some of you actresses are so desperate that you can date anyone without even finding out the background? I wouldn't say desperate, but it's individual differences. Mm. I dating Bella Samoa was, I wouldn't say it was an accident, but you know, we connected. Mm. And you were so much in love. Well, yeah, we were in love. Um, our relationship was, was, was all over. You think over. he loved you just like you loved him? Yes, that was what I thought. Okay. But things were not as I was thinking it was. And um, we were not spending much time together as I thought lovers could. So I was like, okay, let me just let it go. I see. You are a devil. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be a devil. No, you, you know, I'm not, I'm not a devil. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> you don't come in and hide things. Aside from summer, who else have you dated? No one. No one. In the industry, no one. But outside, you're yeah. dating somebody. I've dated someone, but I, um, for now, I'm single. I've been single for two years now. Hey. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll come back to that. Yeah. Because I don't believe you are single. I'm single. There are so many things I've heard, <laughs> and I'll ask. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let, me, let me just take a break. <laughs> I'm sure you're enjoying your time here with Zandi Kamel. I'll take a short break. Do stay with me. See, are they come your house, who? Are they come your house? Uh-huh. As I did here now, my heart is on merit. My heart is on merit. My heart is on merit. Which of my friends? See, that's your friend. That one you call uh, uh, Fufu Paris. That boy doesn't like much more girls. Oh. That boy, eh? do like this if you love him. 
Wow, this place is too hot. I love, I, in fact, I love this edition. You're welcome back. You're still on Once to Watch, right here on VNTV. It's still the powerhouse of entertainment. I'm still here with Zandi Kamel. <laughs> Zandi, did you ever give your car to Bilasama? Bilasama was actually using your car in town. Yes. And what happened to the car? Nothing. I heard that the car was damaged. It wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah. You still love Bilasama. Look at how love is. I don't know. No, come on. He he's he's my friend and my senior colleague in the Tell industry. Tell me when you see him, how do you feel? I mean, you we guys talk. Are... We are so cool. When I was shooting my movie, I mm. casted him. Mm. He came. We acted professionally, and Nothing that was it. Is happening between the two. No, movies. it's strictly professional level. People say Bilasama is sexy. Is he sexy? Ask those who are saying it. You have dated him before. You can tell. Um, I don't know. I hear he's hot. Hot as in like water? Hot, hot. I mean, he's hot. He's every man's, every woman's taste. Really? Yes, so ahead. Oh, then I never knew about that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, Zandi, mm -hmm. do, you, do, you, do you love to be a player? A player as in a footballer? Ope mema. Me pe mema. Me yoba, me nko pe me yonko ba, be mana me pe. I'm a woman. You I would don't go... date just one man. No, oh come on! Why not? Why why would I date two or three men so if I, I am in a relationship? Wait, it's tricky, exactly. my man. That reminds me. I, it was rumor. I mean, everything I'm asking here is rumor. That's what I've heard. Hmm. I've heard from her this fans, your, and I'm asking your rumor her. level. So please, anything I ask is not coming from me. It's coming from you, the fans out there. Mm -hmm. Zandi, you've dated a musician before. Musician? Mm -hmm. No. Zandi, you've dated a musician before. No. You've dated one of um, these guys. I heard it. Um, don't worry, I'll come back to that. Okay. But I know you've dated a musician before. You know? Yes, so I heard. <laughs> You're saying two things here. You said okay, you know. so I heard. It's rumor that okay, you've dated a musician. And this is me, before. and I'm telling you, I've not dated any musician before. I have mm -hmm. friends who are into the music industry. Okay, okay. I have you are, you are so closer many to, friends. Um, I think they are twins or they are brothers. Twins? I heard it. I heard it. I have, have, I have so many friends who are into music. I okay. have bigger, bigger stars who are, who are, who are musicians. And, and you've not dated have, any of them? No. You've not had any affair with any of I've them? I've not had sex with any musician. But you've I've dated. not cased any mm. musician. Mm. I, the, the far I've gone, or the, should I say the farthest I've gone, is hugging them mm. on, based on friendship. Mm. Maybe they come to drop me at home. Mm. I see Who's been dropping you at home? Any of them that I, maybe we can have lunch, we can have dinner, or I go for their shows, maybe my car is messed up or mm. is spoiled or something. Yeah. Are you a big girl? I'm not. Wait, why are you say big girl? How? You are part of those slay queens. Please, I don't slay. This is me. This is me. I don't even have what to slay with. I see. Sandy, do you have a child? <laughs> no. You don't have a child? No. Okay, but I think I've seen some of your snaps where you post that this is a your baby, baby boy yeah. and all that. Yeah. I have, I have kids that I take care of. But you don't have a child? Biological child, no. You don't? Yeah. Okay, when are you looking at having one? When I get a boyfriend who marries me, I will give that... Why do you go on social media every time looking for men? Me? Mm -hmm. I don't go on social media looking for men. But I only react to what people come to my inbox to tell me. You put your naked, your breasts and sometimes half naked being in my bra mm -hmm. in my morning coats mm -hmm. or my bed doesn't hotel mean i'm so naked is it necessary to show off that you're in a hotel in a morning jacket 
mm-hmm. and lying in bed and showing part of your your breast is it very thank god you said part but not my full breast but is it necessary is a picture i'm posting is it necessary to post a picture like that it's necessary for me to post a picture for my fans to see the update the new me when you wake up in the morning your yeah fans how my how my face aware. look like naturally how pretty is i it am necessary? yeah don't you think you are showing off i'm not showing. Sure. what do i have to show off? my body yeah, I can't, I can't flood my body because I have it. Mm. Yeah. You have it? Yeah. I see. Now, what kind of movies have you produced? I've produced um, one, Merry Go Round. Mm. But I've not released it. I premiered it at the National Theatre on Sip March. But I've not released it because of how the movie market has been of late. So I'm waiting small before I release it. Okay. But when exactly are you looking at releasing it? Let's see how the movie industry will go next year. Yeah. Who did you? Who are those you cast on the show? I have Acrobeto. Mm-hmm. I have um, Christian Awuni. Mm-hmm. I have myself. I have Bella Samoa. The four main cast. I see. What what is, what is it about? It's about my 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 life story. When my dad passed on, mm-hmm. things um, I went through with my family, the rejection, the a lot. Yeah. Zendi, do you have any business in Parliament House? I don't have a business in Parliament House, but the fact that my father was used to work there or was once a politician, he has friends there. Even my current MP is still there. So you normally so go there. I go there. Maybe if eh, if I'm broke, I will go and beg for money there. Because I see you most of the time at Parliament House. So I was just me. I just asked, ah, does she work here? Okay. I don't work there, but I also see you there. Do you also work there? <laughs> you know, I'm a journalist. I go there too. I go there okay, too. And I'm also in the same media no, with you. So I also you go there to look no, for... No, 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 no. You are not a journalist. See? Be, look, look. You know people, house is wait, wait, for only wait, journalists. You know people confuse it. You, you know, you creative art. Mean you're a creative art. We also go there to, to listen to what they have for us. No, please. You said you go there when you are broke. Mm-hmm. Your father was a, f- a former MP mm-hmm. and he has friends. Mm-hmm. When you're broke, you go there. So that is your motive of going there. But my <laughs> motive is not to go there to beg for money. Okay, so you what understand? do you do there? I'm a journalist. I don't remember the last time I went to Parliament. But but listen, anytime I see you, I don't see you with cameras I am, I am, and stuff. Wait, so what I do am, you do I there? I am the guest. I am the host. You are my guest. <laughs> you don't ask me those questions. Now, let's, let's look at You went to Nigeria recently. What did you do in Nigeria? Um, I went to shoot a movie and then um, I had an award event there as well, so I went. Okay, we have this award here um, for Africa, African Entertainment Legends Award. What's... First Rising Actress of the Year, Zandi Kamel. Um, I don't know if I can get this, if my camera can capture this very well for me. Um, yeah, for African Entertainment Legends Awards 2017. Zandi Kamel won uh, First Rising Actress of the Year. So this award actually came to Ghana. Zandi, is this fake or original? It's original. So when I hit down the word... Why would you want to hit it down? I just want to see if it's original. You don't have to hit it down to see if it's original. What did you do to deserve this award? You have eyes, you can see that it's original. What did you do to deserve this award? I'm an actress. You think you've done so much job to deserve this award when you have... I mean, look, look at Nigeria, we have, even in Ghana, we have you know Chanel what? and all those When people. it comes to this award, myself, I even lost hope. I didn't even know I'd win it because mm. this is an African, um, uh, it's not only a Nigerian um, organized event, it's, it's, the, it's for the whole Africa. Mm-hmm. We had people from Kenya in the same category with myself. Mm-hmm. We had peop- a lot of people even from Ghana here. I, had, I think I had two people contesting with me on the same fast rising list. So um, when I saw the nominations, I only posted. I didn't even read through to see the, the people I had on um, on the on the bill. So when I got, I took time to see it. I was like, oh no, Zandi can never win this award. So I lost hope. So I went to shoot. So I was there. They called me to ask if I would be at the event, and I asked them why. I said, ah, I'm part of the nominees. So even if I'm not winning the award, I still have, have to, to show there. up. I said, okay, fine, I'll try. So even the dress to you take for the event was was an impromptu thing. So I didn't even post pictures on the red carpet and stuff. So I went there and then to my surprise, they mentioned my name. <laughs> it was tears of joy. As though. the first rising actress of the year. Yeah. For Africa, wow. please. For Africa. Yeah. So African Entertainment Legends Awards, Awards 2017. First rising actress of the year to Zandi Kamel. Yeah. So this award came to Ghana. She says it's not fake. Um, I know it's nothing. I was just kidding. I was just playing with her hair. Zandi, 
I hear you people buy this awards. Did you buy it? I don't know if people buy their awards. Okay. I've not heard of that before. Mm. And the people who, who nominated me didn't also ask me if I'm buying their awards. So I don't know anything about that. Mm. So I don't want to talk about that. Okay. So what, what, what should Ghanaians should expect, like Africa actually, expect from you? Because this award is a huge award. You know, and I think you have to do a lot of job for this yeah, award. Yeah. So what are you going to do? You know, um, getting this award in the first place means um, it's another step ahead. This is another mantle they've given to me. It means I have to work harder so I can get other subsequent ones that may okay. come up. So I'm actually going to work on my brand, I'm going to work on myself, I'm going to work on my, the movie, the kind of movies I'm going to produce myself and the ones I'm going to be featured in. So it's actually going to give me a lot of work to do. Mm. So um, Africa should watch out for something great, something, something good for me. Is Zandi Kamal in a relationship or married? I'm single. When are you going to a relationship? When would you help me find one? You have, you just said you have fans who make you look good. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting that there is somebody out there who has been admiring okay, you. Okay, fine. If I have secret it. admirers, then I don't mm. know. Mm. But um, if any of them should come up and I feel this you person is okay that. and I like the person, why not? Okay. How old are you now? I can't mention my age to you. Why can't you? You're because not mentioning to me. Look, what's my age on all air? All you are saying is no, not No, I can't to mention me. it on air. Mm. But anyone who wants to know should come and hit me up when in my When are you remote. casting me in a, in a role? I will not cast you. Why? Because I don't want you to be featured <laughs> in the movie. Is it that you are scared? I'm not scared. Okay. But as it says, um, like Captain Planet said, Ujo be boy ane de. So I will take your shine. You, in fact, you come and you <laughs> take my stardom. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so interesting. <laughs> Thank you very much, Zandi, for coming on the show. You're welcome. It's, I mean, it's a very great honor to have sure. you on the show. Thank you very much, family, for watching Once to Watch right here on VNTV. Like as usual, my production crew, thank you very much, guys. I love you all. Seriously, I do. See you again same time next week. Enjoy your Christmas. Be good and drive safe. I'm out.